Hey everybody, Joy here. Y'all hear this? Do you hear it? It's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> this is my second try at this video because just as I started the last one, the next door neighbor decided to mow his lawn. I don't know why it just comes right through the windows when people mow their lawn, but <laughs> I decided, oh, for heaven's sake, Joy, just redo it. I think he's done <laughs> dear lord <laughs> okay here's the thing did i tell you the day it's saturday september 21 2019 and i just have to do a little update on our non-challenge for fall and holiday sewing my last video i told you how viv and i had talked and we decided to just do uh, a sewing party <laughs> between now and the end of the year. No rules, no prizes, no stress. <laughs> make one thing, make five things, do whatever you wanna do. We're still gonna use Instagram. We're still gonna make the pictures square. We're still going to make sure our Instagrams are not private so the pictures show up under the hashtag. Now, we did have to make a slight change to the hashtag, which is why I'm making this video. One of you told me, actually several of you told me, that you're not dare allowed to include a slash in your hashtag description on Instagram. So I, of course, did not know that. <laughs> so in my last video where I first talked about this um, sewing party, the hashtag that I held up in the video is now wrong. I've changed the hashtag in the title, and I've changed the hashtag in the description of that video, okay? So, I also am going to hold it up right now and show it to you. It is hashtag fall holiday sewing. Hashtag fall holiday sewing all small letters do y'all see that okay i'm kind of far away from the camera all small letters i don't know if you're allowed to use capital letters over there at the instagram place either but this is how we're going to do it <laughs> okay and one of you said why don't you put joy viv on it so everybody knows that it's y'all and it doesn't get mixed up with everybody else's garments. Well, the reason I don't want to put Joy Viv on it is it's already long. It's already got a lot of letters. And I don't want to make it so long that people accidentally type it wrong. Or certain people like me last time, I don't know how many times I typed the silly thing wrong in there. Usually I was putting a capital letter, I think. But anyway, I figured the shorter and the sweeter the easier it is to type it in there because you gotta type it on every single photo okay so that's why I don't want to put that and then I don't think that other people are going to be combining fall and holiday together in their hashtag like this one is because most people it's sold for fall so for fall and do for holiday or Christmas then it's called Christmas or holiday so hopefully that won't be confusing or cause a problem okay to not have joy and bib on it I thought I would go ahead and put up my first fall outfit that I just finished this morning. I showed you guys the picture of it on the pattern cover the other day, oh, maybe a week or two ago, I don't remember. So I have finished my first fall outfit, which is a skirt and a top. And I am going to show you right now, right here. So, how about that skirt? Uh, I don't know if I love it or I hate it. I, I love it and I hate it. The thing about that skirt is it has all of that ruching in the front. And if you look at me straight on, the ruching is cute. And it looks fine. And I don't have a problem with it. But, you notice I didn't show you myself wearing it sideways. <laughs> when 
you see me sideways. That yellow skirt with that ruching on it makes me look like one gigantic yellow butterball. <laughs> because I already have enough padding right here, you understand. And then you add that ruching on top of it and the fluffy stuff and the big part that sticks out in the front. And it's just, oh my goodness. Um, I guess I'll wear it like that. Um, and it'll be okay. My husband will tell me. But, you know, people know... When you're 70 years old, you're going to have fluffy stuff, and you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> okay, so, did I tell you the pattern? It's New Look 6640. Now, it's N6640. New Look N6640. If you just put 6640 in, if you're searching it, you're going to come up with some kids' patterns. So, I don't know why they would use the same number, but this one has an N in front of it. My next version of this skirt, I'm going to make it again, I've already got the fabric, is going to be the red one. Mine's not going to be red, but I'm going to do the red one. Let me get a little bit closer to the camera. And you can see it does not have all the fluffy stuff that the one on the top has. So I think that that won't make me look quite so like somebody stuck an air hose up my skirt and blew it up there. <laughs> okay. The top. Oh, the top, the top. Oh, yeah, I did make the top, too. But I made that top with SureFit Designs. And I changed it over and over and over again. The top started out to be long, like down to my hips. But I had all of that pretty ruching stuff that I spent lots of time making on the front of that skirt, and I wanted it to show. So I kept raising the skirt, raising the, the hem of the top, and I just made it a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, and then I decided to notch out the side, so that made it show even more of it. So I, I can't wear that blouse with another thing in my closet. <laughs> so that's all I know for now. Oh, did I tell you it was SureFit Designs? Yeah, that was SureFit Designs. And... Um, I just made my own pattern, and then I made my own neckline, and I made... The sleeves the way I wanted them and I made it a pullover instead of button up the front and I put a zipper in the back and then I changed the hem half a dozen different times so that's what that one was okay so I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna go back and sew something else why don't you start something too <laughs> bye for now